Today's Five Things You Need to Know is brought to you by Power Credit Union, proudly serving Southern Colorado. Thank you for watching News 5. I'm Renee Skinner. El Paso County Public Health updating its COVID-19 dashboard, now showing an overall positivity rate of just under 13%, but still well over the 5% threshold to lift restrictions. In the last two weeks, the county is seeing 975 cases per 100,000, and hospitalization levels also remain at red. As those numbers improve, the El Paso County coroner now saying the office did not need to deploy a mobile unit. Additional storage from local funeral homes helped alleviate issues at the coroner's office. The coroner's office also saying workload seems to have let up some this week after they were slammed with COVID cases in early December. Another 3,600 new cases reported across the state in the last day, bringing the total number above 300,000 since the state began tracking cases. Another 33 deaths among cases added Friday. More than 4,200 Coloradans have lost their lives after contracting the virus. Hospitalizations have dropped under 1,500. Letitia Stout's second mental competency evaluation expected to be completed on January 2nd. That's according to court documents. The prosecution and her lawyers will then review the findings. Stout's next court date is set for January 19th. Let's check in with meteorologist Alex O'Brien. Well, this weekend we're looking forward to drying conditions, sunny conditions, a few cold mornings plus warming daytime temperatures. A couple of really good days to get those errands run before the holiday. So I've got 46 today for the springs and 50 tomorrow for Pueblo 47 today and 53 by Sunday. Thank you for listening to today's five things you need to know sponsored by Power Credit Union.